Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video and this is the Sony Mini Hi-Fi Component System MHC VX7 from the year 1999. And this thing has never been opened, so that is what I was told when I bought this. So, this thing is still brand new inside the box, never been used. I think it has been opened because the uh, someone has actually resealed it. But anyway, let's take a look at the box. So this is, once again, MHC VX7, 170 watts plus 170 watts RMS. That makes total of 340 watts RMS. And it's got video CD, audio CD, none of this new MP3 rubbish. So there's no USB on here, there's no Bluetooth. We've got plain old video CD and audio CD support. And it's got a 3 CD changer, DJ mix, hybrid motion display, cinema, space mode, and multi ambient speaker system. So guys, I bought this system from my neighbor. He's also a viewer of the channel. And he told me that he has never ever powered on the system. So this thing is just sitting new inside the box. And he does not know if it works or not, but I'm thinking it works. It's, I mean, it's brand new inside the box. Anyways, it's been sitting for 18 years. Here's the side of the box. And let's go ahead and unbox this thing and set it up on that table over there and do some audio test. And yeah, I took out some old audio CDs. Oh man, Iron Maiden. This brings back a lot of memories. Then got Saturday Night Fever. Then got Eagles, Hell Freezes Over. But take a look at this CD. Hmm, I have a feeling this Eagles CD is not going to work anymore. Yeah, it has nuked itself. Oh yeah, this is not going to work, but that Iron Maiden will work. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot play these on YouTube, otherwise I'll get a copyright claim. So we'll play some royalty free music for YouTube and then I'll listen to the CDs off camera. Let's go ahead and box this. Oh man, this thing smells horrible. It smells like rat poop rather than that old electronic smell. But here we go. Wow. Please read the instruction manual. That I will. So this, I think, these are the speakers and that's the audio system. And looks like we've got some speaker wires here. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing has never been used because that tape was still on there. Mm, looks like these are the speaker wires. I'm gonna keep them there. So we've got another package here. So we've got the remote. Okay, so this is our accessory package. We've got the remote. Yeah, nice looking remote. System audio. Why don't they say audio system? But anyways, this is the remote. We've got the user manual. We've got the FM radio antenna. We've got the video cable and there's something else in there. Yep, someone has been inside this. And I think something is missing from over here. So these two were empty. Hmm. You know what? Opening this thing up in my room was a bad idea. I mean, first off, my room is full of rat poop smell. And secondly, there are cobwebs inside this. Oh, man. So I'm going to clean this thing up, take out the speakers, set it up, and then I'll start recording. Yeah, my hands are going to get filthy. Okay, so I got the speakers out. And a quick little look at this data sheet here. So these ones are rated at 6 ohms. The model number is the model number is SS VX7A, and this is the right speaker, and that is the left speaker right over there, and that's the serial number. If you want to take a look at that, and take a look at this. If the speaker should cause the TV screen to have poor colors, turn the TV off and turn it back on. After 15-20 minutes, if poor colors should persist. Place the speakers at a distance away from the TV. So that's for your CRT TVs. Uh, nothing's gonna happen to that TV. But yeah, that's for the CRT TVs. And take a look at this. This front shroud actually comes off. And that exposes the speakers. So it's got a total of five speakers. Two are over here. And two are here. And that's your woofer. Yeah, that's one awesome looking speaker. You know what? I gotta smell these. 
Oh yeah, that smells like new. I mean, this speaker system does not smell like rat poop. I mean, that box was so smelly, but these speakers are okay. And each of these speakers are rated at 170 watts RMS. And if you add that up, that comes to 340 watts RMS. That's about the same RMS power as this Sony subwoofer here. So this whole system is quite powerful and I think it will sound good in my room. Although this is not for my room, this is for my, for my dad and he can use it. Because his room does not have a stereo. So let's get the amplifier ready and play some tunes. Guys, take a look at this. This thing looks beautiful. And that is a vacuum fluorescent display. If you buy a stereo these days, you get a tiny little LED display. And that is a vacuum fluor display. And I think that's one of those color vacuum fluor display. But yeah, take a look at all of these different controls here. Got a jog dial. Oh, that feels good. So let me just flip the system on its back and sh let me show you what all connections we have at the back of the unit. And yeah, this thing has video CD, none of this DVD nonsense or Blu-ray nonsense. We've got the good old video CD and audio CD playback here. We are now taking a look at the back of the stereo. And first off, the model number HCD VX7A. It pulls about 170 watts from the wall. And that's the serial number. Uh, Sony Corp Tokyo Japan and this one is made in Malaysia We've got the power cord and there's some sort of adapter attached on the front Take this out here So we've got video out system select let it be on auto then s video out I am probably never ever going to plug this in into a TV uh, Because it's got video CD and I don't really watch any video CDs because yeah uh, got a smart TV We'll use this as a dedicated audio device by plugging in a RCA cable and yeah, we'll take it from there. So we've got digital audio out. Although I wish this thing had digital audio in uh, because my computer right over there has a digital audio out so we could have digital audio plugged in on here. But yeah, it does not matter. We've got antenna connections here, AM and FM, and we've got audio in. And this is for the Sony MD mini disc recorder super buffer out i think you can connect an external powered subwoofer to this thing and we've got surround speakers and the system did not come with surround speakers so these are again uh, these will not be used and we've got speaker connectors over here uh, we'll use these to connect the speakers then we've got a cooling fan and i think that's pretty much it let me wire up the speakers now okay so i got the speakers hooked up let's go ahead and turn the system on for the first time in about 18 years so let's go ahead and oh that was a loud noise but hey it works sony demo and look at that vacuum fluoro display i think there are two vacuum fluoro displays here so one of them is uh, is in front, that's transparent, and there is another one at the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that looks awesome. Yeah, there are two vacuum fluor displays here. That is just beautiful. I'm so happy to see this thing working. So let's turn the power on. Okay, what is that noise? Okay, so it looks like this CD thing has jammed in there. Yeah, it is coming from uh, somewhere from over here. So I think this, the belt inside this has rotted away or something. Mm, might need to open the system up or get it serviced by Sony. Hmm, that is going to be a bit of problem. So I'm gonna wait and see if this sound disappears and then we'll play some songs. Okay, so it seems like that grinding noise stops when the stereo is in standby mode or when it's uh, showing that Sony demo. But as soon as you turn this thing on, that grinding noise just starts no matter what function is it in. So even if when it's in the uh, tape 
mode and even when it's in this tuner or video mode that grinding noise from the cd player will keep on coming tell you guys what i have tried trying out this cd changer tray gently and nah, this won't come out and it's really stuck in there so there's really no option left but to open up this case and see what's wrong yeah these rubber belts and plastic cogs these will just deteriorate over time and cause problems like these on older systems like these okay so even though the cd player is making weird noises that does not stop me from doing an audio test because the amplifier and the speakers are perfectly fine and i still did not test the cassette deck because i do not have a cassette to test but anywho let's go ahead and do an audio test and uh, the song i'm going to be playing is i remember you from uh, no copyright sounds. So let's go. So let's. So here's my equalizer settings 63 hertz, 10 decibels. So this is literally the maximum bass setting on the system. system is excellent I mean yeah I'm impressed and I'm quite happy with the sound quality yeah this thing is yeah thumbs up from my side this vacuum floor display I mean that graphics thingy is just awesome you don't get this this kind of thing in today's stereo system not even so I mean wow yeah, this thing is Okay, so here's another one of my favorite songs. This one is called Girlfriend and again, this one is from No Copyright Sounds. And I absolutely love the sound quality of this thing.
I'm gonna shut this thing down because I don't want anything else to get damaged or screwed up in the CD drive. But yeah, this thing sounds awesome. I mean, that bass, that resolution of sound, I mean, yeah. When you turn on that uh, surround sound thing, I think these two speakers get activated. Otherwise, these two speakers are running. And I kind of did put my ear uh, over here. This is like a full range speaker. So even this thing, even though this thing plays low frequencies quite well, this is really a full range speaker. So it's not only playing the lower frequencies, it also plays back higher uh, and mid frequencies. And higher frequencies are played back by these speakers. But coming to the bass, obviously that subwoofer does produce more deeper bass. I mean, that thing can shake the ground. This thing does not shake the ground, but overall the quality of the bass, the punchy sound, I mean, yeah, I love it. And that's a big thumbs up from my side. The only disappointment is that the CD drive does not work. And secondly, the CD drive does not support MP3. And obviously this is not a DVD system. There is no USB and there is no uh, Bluetooth either. And yeah, good thing though we have cassette, but I haven't used cassettes for like at least 10 years now. So yeah, but you can always plug in your phone through the uh, a video port and back. Yeah, that's the auxiliary port in this thing. But there is no front audio in either on this system. But yeah, that's not really an issue. But overall, I absolutely love the sound quality of this system. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.